All right, so let's go ahead and find our way to our nice easy seat. We're gonna work on the hips a little bit today. So just bringing your hands to rest on your lap wherever it feels good, tucking your chin if that feels good, and take a few moments to find stillness. So just let the legs be easy. Let your chin tuck to your chest. Breathing in, letting go of any stress or tension that you might be holding on to. Now it doesn't matter which leg is in front, just kind of being aware so that we can switch it in a few moments. We're going to start to take some gentle, easy side to side, kind of going in a circle with the upper body. So leaning off towards one side and kind of falling forward and then over to the other side. And we'll just take this nice big circle a few times. And then go ahead and pause and let's go the other way, keeping it nice and fluid. Just taking a big circle, keeping your butt glued to the ground. Nice. And then just go ahead and find stillness. Taking your left hand to your right knee and looking out over the right shoulder. Super simple. No expectations here of any kind. And then back over to the other side. Beautiful, come on back through center. We're gonna switch the orientation of the legs. So just flipping the one that's on top or in front. And we'll take three and three of those circles again. So circling off towards the right and just take those big circles. And then pausing and going back towards the left. Sitting up nice and tall, looking towards the left, bring the hand to the knee and look over the back shoulder. I'm going all the way over to the other side. We're going to come through the middle and just start to walk your hands forward. So keep your hips, keep your booty glued to the mat there and start to just walk the hands for forward and maybe hinging down over those legs. So if you have the space, you might bring forearms all the way down to the mat. But if that's not really working for you today, you don't have to. You can always come to a block or a pillow here too. Just let your head be heavy. And then go ahead and come on back up to the top, sitting nice and tall. We're going to find our deer sit or pretzel in bar. So just take your right leg and fold it along behind you so that the shin is parallel to that short edge of the mat and the shin of the left leg is parallel to the top of the mat. And then flex your feet to protect your knees. We're going to begin by just kind of sitting here bringing your hands to your cactus arms and then turning and looking towards the right. So it's a really small movement. We're just practicing some core work here. So you're just going to turn and look towards that right leg there. And then inhale back through center and turn and look towards the left. So see if you can do that without popping your belly or your hip off the mat here. 
And the whole movement comes from like this middle core area. Back through center, and then go ahead and bring your hands behind you and lift up through the heart. So now press down through that right hip, lift up through the heart. And then go ahead and release. We're going to turn, reach towards the left side of the mat and maybe come down onto your forearms if you have the space. If you don't have the space, you can keep the hands on the mat and just look because it is early in our class yet here. So you might be right here up nice and tall. Or if you're feeling a little more flexy today, you might come down onto your forearms. Go ahead and start to walk yourself back up, lifting the heart, and then just go ahead and sweep this right leg over the top of the left. So you're going to scooch that left foot by your hip and squeeze, squeeze that right foot towards your hip. Nice, taking this nice little uh, cow face pose here. And then from here, we're just going to bring the arms all the way up. So inhale them up together, press palms together overhead, and then bend the elbows. So the fingers come to, so like your thumbs are going to come to the back of your head. And then maybe starting to lift the heart up. So I can already tell that my bracelet and my watch are both tangled in my hair already. So this actually is a little bit difficult to breathe, right? So just take little teeny tiny sips of air. Nice, and then go ahead and release. Assuming you're not all tangled. Go ahead and release, let go of the legs, bring them out in front of you, and we'll take a few windshield wipers here. So just side to side. And then we're going to do that whole thing on the second side. So the left foot comes across the top. Nope. <laughs> the right foot comes across the top. Left foot goes behind you. How quickly I forget. And then we're just going to sit here and then reach those arms all the way up. And then exhale, find cactus. So we're going to turn over towards the left. Take a nice little squeezing out of the ribs. Hopefully you didn't have lunch yet. Inhale back through center, and then we're gonna go the other way. Exhale over to the other side. Come on, back through center, nice. Just bring the hands down to the mat, and we're going to turn and look over the right hip now. So when you turn, use your hands to kind of give you that little bit of traction so that you can squeeze down that left hip. You can hang out here or start to come a little bit lower onto the mat. That left hip is going to come off the mat. Using the hands to help you, walking back out of this shape, lifting up, we're going to take this left foot on top of the right, so it's just the opposite side, squeezing the feet back. Doesn't matter where you are, as long as you can root down through that mat. 
inhaling the arms all the way up through center, pressing palms together overhead, and then bending the elbows, bringing the hands back behind you. Nice tricep stretch. Go ahead and release, release those hands down, bring them behind you, unhook the legs and take a few of those windshield wipers. Look the kinks out. Then we're going to head to our tabletop shape. So take your time getting there. Hands and knees. We'll take a few of those cat and cows just to find your way to the shape. So any cat and cow that work for you, just moving super duper slow with your breath. We'll spend about just about a minute here. We're gonna go ahead and find our way to our stillness in our tabletop. Move your left knee underneath your hip and extend that right leg out behind you. So square off the hip if you have a shiny surface you can look at just to see what it looks like. And then float that back foot off the mat. So zip up through the core, bend the right knee. And then we're just going to take some circles here with this knee. So pulling the knee out to the side as if you're going to come forward, but we're not moving the whole body, just that leg and then down and around. So just taking a nice little hip circle, which is also a little bit of core work. Miss Maggie had to come and see what was going on. And then we're just going to go the other way. Beautiful. Then go ahead and kick that right leg out behind you. And then we're going to bring that right leg out to the side. So if you can, you're gonna bring that right leg out over towards the right and just let your hips start to kind of slide down here, not too far. We're gonna keep that right hand planted, right foot is planted. Inhale that left arm up towards the sky, which is not going to go all the way up. And then exhale, reach down, maybe grabbing onto the thigh, the leg, or just bringing the hands to the floor and then looking up underneath that right arm. So just taking a little bit of a hip opener and a shoulder stretch at the same time. If you can come all the way down onto the mat, I can't because my microphone is there, but if you can come all the way down onto the mat with the side of your face, that might feel good. And if you have longer arms than me, you can reach the foot, the arm, or the shin, wherever you can grab. And then go ahead and start to walk all the way back out. Bring that right hand back underneath you and sweep the left arm up and then place that down. Lift up that right leg, which takes a little bit of core work and send it behind you. We're gonna tuck the toes under and lift the hips up and back and just pedal out your dog. Go ahead and find our way back to our tabletop. Left leg reaches behind you. Zip up the belly, push away from the mat. Bend the knee, flex the foot. Let's take those circles. So try really hard to just move the leg and not your whole body. And then go the other way. Nice, extend that leg nice and long. Flex the foot and then step that foot out to the left, 
left hand underneath you. Her right arm is going to reach up. And then from here, we're going to scoop underneath and try and come down onto the side of the head and grab onto maybe that leg or just bring the hands to the mat. Go ahead and unwind, unravel. Left hand comes back underneath you, right arm reaches up, and then place that hand down and slide that left leg back and then find your way to your downward facing dog and pedal it out. Head is heavy, knees might bend, heels press towards the mat. Let's take a look up towards the hand and as many steps as it takes, maybe four or five, we're coming up behind the hands here. Grab onto opposite elbows, head is super heavy. Go ahead and dangle here. And then very slowly roll all the way up, release the hand. Coming up to stand. We're going to roll the shoulders up and back three times. Which actually feels kind of good. Nice. Beautiful. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Press palms together overhead. And then exhale, fold back down. Find that half lift. Nice, tight through the core and step back with your right foot. Right knee comes all the way down to the mat and both hands come to that left knee. So keep that back knee or back toe turn curled under for a minute here. I'm just going to sink into the shape, stretching out through the hips. Nice, and then exhale, hands come to the mat, straighten that front leg, peel the foot off the mat and sit back. Inhale into that lunge, hands on the mat. Sit back. Inhale forward. And then step back. Nice. From here, we're going to plant the hands on the mat, curl the toes under on that back foot, and then step forward back into your forward fold, knock down over the legs. Slowly start to unravel as we stand all the way up. Find your way to standing and roll the shoulders back and down three times. And then find stillness. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up, press them together, and then fold back down. We're going to find our way to the second side. Left knee is going, or left foot's going to step back. Knee comes down to the mat. Hands come right to the knee of the right side. And then just work to sink down into the shape. Go ahead and reach back, peel the front toes off the mat, half fold over a straight right leg. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, lean back. Inhale. And exhale. 
Nice. As we come forward, we're going to lift the back knee and step forward into a wider forward fold. So the toes stay forward to begin with. And we're just going to melt down. Keep the legs about as wide as the mat. Left hand comes underneath you and the right arm is going to start to reach up. So because we have the wide stance, you might be able to keep your knees straight here, but if you need to bend into the left knee to find this twist, you can absolutely do that. Let's go ahead and find the second side. Nice. Hands come down in the middle. Inhale for a half lift, and we're going to step back with the right foot. We're going to keep that left foot to the outside of the hands. Walk the hands right underneath the shoulders and just start to low lunge here. So you're going to dip the hips and lower down. Pause here for a moment. Find a little bit of seesaw action. And then go ahead and drop that right knee, turn the left toes out, release the right toes, and sink the hips down, open up that left knee. So you can hang out here, this is perfectly fine. Or if you want, you can come down onto the right forearm and bring the left hand to the right, nope, left knee. Go ahead and bring the hands underneath your shoulders. Put that left foot on the floor. Peel the right knee and then just place that right foot down. You're going to heel toe that left foot a little bit in towards the middle and keep the knee bent. Reach the right arm up. So a nice extended side angle. If the floor is too far, you can always come up onto the knee here. Maybe looking up. Looking up might create some tension in the neck. You can always look down. We're going to bring that right hand to the mat, turn your feet so that they face the long edge of your mat. So we're turning towards the right. The right toes are going to turn slightly out, and then we're just going to sit down into our surfer lunge, our skarsdasana. I don't teach this class a lot because it's not a good one for my knees. You don't have to go all the way down to the mat, and if the heel pops off the mat, you can certainly do that. Uh, the important thing is to get the stretch in the left side. So not that you can see from the camera angle, but I'm way up on my toes here. Ideally, you would have your heel on the ground, but my body doesn't bend that way. And then we're just going to use the hands to help you if you need to. We're going to turn all the way back to the top of the mat and step forward into that forward fold. Once we find that forward fold, you can bring your hands around behind you. Now we're just starting to create some good space and just melt down. Grab opposite elbows behind the knee. Release the hands, find a half lift, and then step your feet as wide as your mat. Let's take those same twists again. So left hand on the mat, right hand reaches up. Right hand comes down, left hand reaches up. Beautiful, both hands come down. Keeping your hands inside the feet, we're just going to step back with that left foot, bring the left toes underneath, hips come down, and first we just rock a little bit. Starting to open up into the hip. And then eventually working your way down to that knee, turning the right toes out, letting the hip open up and either staying here on the hands, which is perfectly fine, or coming down onto the forearm or even one forearm. You can let that right foot peel right off the mat if that feels good.
Go ahead and bring the hands back to the mat. We're going to head towards that extended side angle. Pop that left knee off the mat. Spin that foot down. Right foot or right hand stays right next to the foot. And then inhale, open up the left arm. So extended side angle again. If you need the space, you can come up elbow to knee here. Bring that left hand to the mat. Turn both feet towards the long edge of the mat. Left toes are going to angle slightly towards the back of the mat and peel the right toes off the mat as you sit back and down. So just getting that nice inner thigh stretch. Using your hands to help you, we're going to find our way back towards the front of that mat. Step back into your downward facing dog. Let the head be super heavy here. You can bend your knees, come way up onto the toes, whatever feels really good here. So we're gonna find our way to a pigeon pose. So we're gonna start with the right leg. So just reach that right leg up and open. Open the hip, bend the knee, flex the foot, and then bring that knee forward. So before we settle into our pigeon, we're just going to slide that knee behind the wrist. Find your way into the beginning of that pigeon. And before we go all the way down, we're keeping the left toes curled under and just work into a nice hip stretch here. So your hands are here to support you. That back knee is off the mat and you're going to sink into the hips here. So it's a really nice stretch through that left hip flexor. And then go ahead and lower the knee, release the toe. You can hang out right here, or you can start to walk the hands out in front of you, coming down onto the mat. And we'll be here for a little bit. Go ahead and walk the hands underneath the shoulders, curl the toes under on that left foot, lift the knee and sweep that right leg up and open. Now you can hang out here. You don't have to go any further or you can start to rock forward and just set that right foot behind your left. So you're almost in a side plank but you're holding yourself up with that right foot and then reach that right arm up and open. And then exhale, sinking down, hip comes almost to the mat. Reach that right arm towards that far wall. Nice. And then inhale, we're just going to bring both hands back to the mat and find our way back to our downward facing dog. Finding pigeon, second side, taking your time. Left leg reaches up, open, bend the knee, open the hip, flex the foot. Knee comes behind the wrist. We're staying up off that back leg to start. So I have to scooch back and then lift through the heart. Lower the hips down. Take one more breath here. And then slowly lower to the top of that knee, release that back foot. 
and then find whatever version of pigeon you prefer today. So maybe forearms. Beginning to walk the hands underneath your shoulders, curl the toes under. We're going to sweep that left leg up and open into that three-legged dog. You can stay here or slide the shoulders over the wrist, drop the hips as you set that left foot down and open up. So it's like a modified wild thing here. And then exhale, lower the hips down and reach for that back wall. Just floating that right hip off the mat. And then inhale, lift back up and find your way into your downward facing dog. So we're gonna walk our feet nice and wide. Turn your toes out in this down dog. Press the heels to the mat. And first enjoy that nice stretch. Then we're going to start to walk the hands back towards the back of the mat with our turned out feet. And perhaps if you like a nice malasana, a nice garland pose, you can come with me now into that. If you have a block to sit on, you might want to do that. Sitting nice and low, stacking the shoulders over the hips, letting the elbows push into the knees, rocking the weight back into the heels. Hands might stay at heart center. And you're going to bring the hands to the mat. You're going to rock forward and bring the knees down, toes released beneath you, and sit back into your child's pose and just melt down. Forehead to the mat or on top of your hands. If it's better for you to find a nice close child's pose, bringing the knees towards each other, you can do that. Go ahead and walk your way all the way back up and then find your way to your back, taking your time getting there. Pull your knees in, give them a nice little hug. Should feel good to get the weight off and just wiggle out the heat of the feet. Hands can come into cactus arms overhead. Toes come to the mat about hip width, and then just let the knees fall over towards the left. Nice, easy twist. And then taking the knees over towards the right.
back through center. And then find your way into your resting shape. So we did a lot of hips. So maybe Supta Baddha Konasana soles the feet together or just extending the legs, being very heavy. You can keep arms overhead or if it feels better, you can lower them down by your side. Bringing movement back to fingers and toes. Starting your work your way to one side or the other. Eventually, taking your time, moving towards your easy seat, any shape that helps you seal your practice today. So we talk about hips being a place where we store our stress and our tension. Now that we worked all that out, perhaps feeling nice and light and released and easy into your, the rest of your day. Bringing hands to heart center if you choose, maybe bowing your head if you like. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. Have a fabulous rest of your day. Namaste.